What's up, bros? Uh, today we're opening uh, four uh, value packs of 1819 Upper Deck uh, Series 2 hockey. I call them uh, Ken Hitchcock packs uh, because they're fat like Ken Hitchcock. So uh, I got uh, these packs on eBay for uh, $4.25 uh, per pack shipped. And uh, generally, uh, this is uh, the by far uh, the most brutal upper deck uh, series uh, one or two combine uh, uh, like package uh, package because uh, in this uh, 32 card uh, cards pack uh, there's usually only one insert and uh, this is something like a portrait of uh, somebody like Niklas Hjalmarsson or Niklas Kronwall so uh, even like any kind of young guns is a uh, uh, is a good pull uh, from uh, these packs already even if it's uh, like a, uh, some kind of a king of a scraps um, Wayne Simmons a lot of talks about him uh, being traded in this deadline but uh, uh, nothing happening so far Kasper Kapanen former uh, Pittsburgh uh, Penguin uh, Josh Manson don't ever don't ever know him. Uh, Radka Gudas. Uh, Vincent Hinostroza. Like where is he from? From like a really strange last name. No, Barlett, Illinois, and plays for plays for the home state team. Uh, Antoine Russell. So I think there are no no inserts. Adam McQueed. Uh, Tobias Ryder. Keith Kincaid was just traded uh, by Devils for uh, uh, to Columbus for the fucking fifth round pick. Uh, I don't know what Ray Shero is uh, like thinking. Like uh, Keith Kincaid is like it could be a starter on a team like Columbus because uh, for sure he's uh, better uh, than like Corpusalo and uh, Bobrovsky is leaving and he's traded for the fucking fifth fifth round pick. It's like uh, Connor Sherry. Thomas Tatar, uh, Braden McNabb. Yeah, that's a really poor, uh, poor pack. No, not even an insert. <laughs> like I was uh, like uh, talking that I usually uh, these packs come with uh, one, uh, one insert like uh, a portrait of a or like um, a canvas. Of course, not young gun canvas, but like canvas of. Uh, uh, canvas of uh, somebody like uh, I don't know, like uh, like Derek Stepan, yeah, like this type of canvas. And Philip Grubauer had a strong season uh, last year in playoffs for Caps, uh, uh, like uh, had a strong regular season for Caps, but failed in the playoffs, like lost two first games to to Blue Jackets and uh, Series One checklist. What, what the hell? Series one checklist from uh, a series. This is like upper deck series two, so uh, it sh it should be like seri like series two checklist for sure. It's not series one checklist. It's what the fuck like. <laughs> I hope this checklist is not my insert or. Oh, uh, God, that's brutal. Um, Sid the Kid. Mark Giordano. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a typical, uh, typical insert uh, uh, you can pull from this uh, Ken Hitchcock or Claude Julien packs, like people call them in uh, Montreal. This uh, UD canvas of Eric Stahl, Tyler Johnson, No Hannifin. Mikkel Bodeker, a Danish player, I think. Jonas Donskoy, Finnish player. Uh, Ken Ward. Uh, Milan Lucic. Hugely overpaid in Edmonton, I think. Brian Little. Uh, I'm not sure what does his uh, last name, like Little. I mean, like maybe that he has a little penis. 
uh, and oh, okay, so this is like uh, it probably means that there is a this is uh, I, when I put a series one checklist, it was uh, checklist number one. So with m a much more logical name would be uh, like series uh, checklist uh, one, series checklist two instead of series two checklist and series one checklist. It's really confusing because uh, you think that the number refers to the to the series. Michal mm, Kempny, mm, uh, Thomas Grice, a very very strong season in uh, in Islanders, but uh, again it's only in terms of stats because uh, with Barry Trotz, like uh, Islanders play very very defensively. It's uh, I've been to some of their games and it's uh, usually super boring. Uh, to watch the team unless, unless they're playing uh, some like a really shit team like uh, like Vancouver so they like score a lot but usually Islanders play, play with uh, four players really really uh, down and uh, there's only somebody like uh, uh, Brock Nelson is or uh, Matt Burzo trying to attack so it's a pretty lame a lame atmosphere in these games Jake Allen, um, so uh, I think uh, he was the biggest reason why St. Louis struggled so so immensely at the beginning of the season because once uh, uh, Jordan Bennington, um, Jordan uh, Bennington joined it, uh, became the starting goalie. They started playing really well, and uh, okay, so uh, this is a very remarkable player like Volny Chushkin. He is already not scoring for I think for 45 games or so, uh, although he's like uh, get, uh, getting to play in the on the first line and power play minutes. Uh, I'm just uh, laughing, uh, laughing out loud. Like people say, it's because he uh, he got married in the off season and so didn't. I didn't prepare for the season at all, just was drinking and eating heavily. Yeah, so my insert uh, from this pack is uh, Jeremy Lauzon, uh, like his last name uh, already suggests. I, I bet he's a very lousy, uh, lousy player. Yeah, seven points in uh, in Providence. Oh my God, like Jake Musin, not not a remarkable uh, defender by himself, but. Uh, uh, once he moved uh, to Toronto, like uh, you could see how uh, how uh, how much does a uh, Toronto defense uh, suck, uh, because uh, he's clearly and by far uh, the best uh, the best defender in Toronto, especially like in starting the in starting in giving the first pass, starting the offense, and uh, like. Uh, because uh, otherwise, uh, like Toronto defense is really lame, and even with uh, Jake Musin, because Jake Musin by the league, uh, by the league standards, it's uh, like a pretty average uh, top four uh, defenseman. So nothing more, nothing less. Uh, but uh, on, uh, at, uh, compared to other Toronto defensemen, he really stands out. Uh, Robin Leonard, another Islanders goalie who is uh, uh, posting great, mm, uh, great stats. But again, it's not the reason I think uh, of the goalie more. It's like a consequence of very defensive playing style. And uh, Artemi Panarin, um, if like uh, if he won't be traded by this deadline, like uh, Kekalainen should be like uh, fired uh, from his GM post because uh, he is essentially leading to. Of uh, his uh, best players uh, to go, to go for free like Bobrovsky and uh, and uh, Panarin. At, at least uh, because I don't know, it would make sense to keep them if like Columbus would be like a, a contender or something. But uh, no, he's uh, Columbus is like very far from contending. I think. Uh, uh, I would be like uh, they might get uh, through the first round of the playoff if they play something like Islanders in the first round. But like uh, I can't imagine like Islanders getting past like something like Pittsburgh or Washington or uh, Tampa Bay. Oh, um, uh, young guns of uh, Sami Niku. 
uh, actually saw him playing in uh, in December when Winnipeg uh, went to visit uh, uh, to visit uh, Islanders at uh, Barclays Center. Uh, he's actually not uh, the most skillful player, but he's like very active and uh, he's not afraid uh, to take uh, the responsibilities. So. Uh, uh, so a uh, really nice uh, young guy. Of course, I don't think he's gonna be any high-profile uh, player, but uh, at least somebody who uh, who I know and whose uh, uh, playing style and especially attitude mm, I like. Of course, uh, not everybody can be like Sidney Crosby, but if you go out and you mm, and uh, you give your best, and uh, I think the coach really trusts Niku uh, because he like, he was playing even on the first line uh, for most of the game. I think. Uh, <laughs> like uh, this looks like uh, he's trying to avoid the puck, like flying uh, towards him or something like that. Uh, Derno Nurse. Uh, Nikita Kucherov uh, leads the league in uh, points by a wide margin, but he's not a player like uh, Crosby or Vechkin who who can decide the game by uh, by himself. It's more like uh, he really needs smart partners to uh, to play with him. So, uh, but yeah, overall uh, these packs uh, were like uh, um, clearly the. A waste of uh, money, so uh, this uh, UD canvas, Jeremy Lowes, and pff, who is the guy, who is the guy, and uh, and uh, Sami Niku, uh, young guns. So if you go to say your Target and Wal or Walmart and you want to buy these packs, like uh, instead of wasting your money, you can just ask the cashier to, uh, k k uh, you can ask the cashier to kick your testicles. It will be pretty much the same. Same outcome.